fashion is far more than what meets the eye. There are materials, designs, and most importantly, people that play a role in the creation of the items we all wear. This past year, I met several locals in the fashion industry paying very close attention to just how all of it is made. The power of fashion and beauty is undeniable. A person's aesthetic can convey identity, culture, and values. And the power of the fashion and beauty industries is vast, with both positive and negative consequences. Cara Bartlett is deeply aware of those impacts, a maker from a young age. I always made my own clothes growing up from the time when I was like in fourth grade. How is the influencer? The founder and CEO of Veta, a sustainable clothing company that started in South Boston, Bartlett has educated herself on the ethical concerns related to the creation of clothing who is making it, and how it's made. Fabric starts as a fiber, generally. Step one is what resources are used and whether they're renewable. Then you look at how the fiber is turned into yarn. Some yarn requires a lot of chemicals. Then you look at the fabric itself. Does it require dry cleaning? Does it last a long time? Is it biodegradable? We have to look at every single one of those elements every time we design a garment. We got some new samples in. And Bartlett goes to great lengths to make sure the hands creating each garment are in good hands themselves. Initially, we started manufacturing only in the U.S. I wanted to be able to walk into a factory at any moment and to see how people were being treated. With some detailing now done overseas, Bartlett does her research. For those, I also went out and visited in person. But in addition, we require our factories to be audited. It was a mass tragedy in Bangladesh that sparked demands for change in the fashion world, the 2013 collapse of a garment factory building called Rana Plaza. I think it was a really galvanizing moment in the context of thinking about the issues of workers and their safety and working conditions in the supply chain. More than 1,100 people were killed. Despite obvious signs of structural problems and complaints about the building, workers were compelled to keep to their routines. Yen Hashea, a professor at Harvard Business School, researches global business ethics. Uh, there's clearly a pressure to fulfill orders, and it's a very low margin industry. In terms of the interests of people, it's hard, right? Because even though people report some of the concerns about the building, people still want to work. One out of every six people in this planet works somehow connected to the industry. With fashion, you're putting it on your body, but it's connected to so many other bodies. It gets to you. Jennifer Verakamp is a professor in the fashion department at Mass Art. She says the rise of so-called fast fashion, clothing that's cheap and disposable, has been deeply harmful in many ways. So all my denim is used. Morally, we need to take a step in a more anti-consumption direction, seeing the value in what's in your closet and looking at every item and saying not just, oh, that was a picture on Instagram, so I can't wear it again, but seeing it as something, human beings made this, I bought this with money that I earned, I should wear it again and show it to the world. Back at VETA, not only is sustainability and ethical manufacturing considered, but yes, consumption too. Bartlett's collections are based on five item capsules that together can create 30 outfits. Most women in the U.S. only wear about 20% of their wardrobe on average. The concept of a capsule wardrobe basically is to have fewer pieces in a similar color palette that can all mix and match and work well together. Responsible fashion can still be fun. On VETA's website, a quick quiz helps determine which collection fits your style. Edgy! <laughs> That's right. Okay, I love this. The pants are so cute and they're so soft. And this is so snuggly, the sweater. And Kara, so this can be worn a totally different way. So this whole turtleneck part unbuttons. So now it looks like a different sweater and it has zippers that are open. And I just learned this is a French tuck. So you can wear this t-shirt five different ways. This is basically what you're wearing. Yep. With no sleeves. We took the sleeves off. And it looks totally different. Yeah. What we're trying to do is help women create a more thoughtful wardrobe in terms of more curated 
and also thoughtful in terms of knowing where it comes from and that you know it had a positive impact on people and the planet. Veda founder Kara Bartlett said she became motivated to start her company after watching a documentary about sweatshops and then going through her own clothes. She said she researched brands that she owned and was upset to learn that many had violations. She says when looking for sustainable fabrics, consider options like Tencel, which is made from sustainably harvested wood pulp. Cotton requires a tremendous amount of water, but if you're buying cotton, consider organic cotton, as growing conventional cotton typically involves many pesticides. Uh